Hi viewers, this video will explain in detail about the information in calculating the bolt root area for inch screw thread series only. This presentation is mainly for since the bolt root area is not a direct formula to use. As I was searching for the bolt root area calculation, I felt it was very difficult. I spent a lot of time in searching for it, but I didn't got any direct answer. And I thought of started researching on this, how this bolt root area was arrived. And finally, after referring so many standards and references handbooks, I found how it was arrived. And I just want to share my knowledge in that. So that's why I have prepared this video for knowledge sharing. So let us see the terminology of screw threads before entering into the bolt area calculation. We want to see some of the definitions and some of the details about the screw threads. So from this figure, you can note the major diameter, minor diameter and pitch diameter and these two are the crest and the root. The distance between two crests is the pitch. Sharp V threads are shown for clarity. The crest and roots are actually flattened or rounded during the forming operation. As per ASMB 1.1 unified screw threads, the thread angle is 60 degree and this is the thread angle. <coughs> And let us see the basic profile of threads. The figure shows the basic profile for metric threads as it is same for the inch screw threads. The basic profile I have prepared in terms of H and P where H is the height of fundamental triangle and P is the pitch. It should be noted that the distance above the pitch diameter and below the pitch diameter is not equal that is these two that is 3h by 8 and h by 4. This point shall be remembered by the viewers. Why? Because this is one of the important information to be remembered in the bold root area calculation. And one more important point is that the sharp V thread height which is h by 8 above the pitch diameter. This is also important point to be kept in mind. And let us see the relation between h and p. From the figure, it is seen that the equilateral triangle is split into two right angle triangles as like this, where H is the height and P by 2 is the base of right angle triangle. Using trigonometric function, that is tan 30, which is equal to opposite by adjacent, equal to P by 2 into H, sorry, P by 2 divided by H. Also, tan 30 equal to 1 divided by root 3. And solving for H, we get h equal to root 3 by 2 into p which is equal to 0 0.8662540 into p and the people may ask why so many digits have been added after that decimal point as per screw thread standards minimum 8 digits should be presented after the decimal point for the accuracy of the manufacturing process and also for the calculation purpose. Let us see the abbreviations used for external threads. A capital D or small d which is equal to basic major or sometimes said nominal diameter. Similarly D2 is the basic pitch diameter and which is equal to D minus into HB or D minus 2 times of HAS and these values and this details of HB HAS shall be seen in the table from 6 to 16 of ASNB 1.1 and D1 is the major diameter of UN external threads which is equal to D minus 2 times of HS and this extra like HB, HAS, HS these details shall be seen in the next figure as it will be shown now and P is the pitch as I already told and N is the threads per inch both are reciprocal to each other and H is the height of sharp V thread which is the height of fundamental triangle and the values is already derived. HAS is the addendum of external thread. HAS equal to 0.375 H. This value shall be seen in table 5 of ASLB 1.1. <coughs> HP equal to 2 times of HAS. This deal also shall be seen in table 5 of ASLB 1.1. 
whatever abbreviations listed earlier in terms of HAS and HS, those details as I told earlier, those details shall be seen in this figure. And this is a portion of HAS and this is a HDS and D1, D, D2, those things were defined here. And this is shown in the figure left side. The figure in the right side is for rounded root and crest for fatigue application. Mainly these types of triggers are used for the very sensitive equipments such as aircraft and also where the fatigue application is more uh, those uh, those kind of application this rounder root diameter have been used and let us see what is the relation between threads per inch and pitch a threads per inch n is a reciprocal of the pitch p for better clarity of threads per inch and pitch refer the figure as shown to this is the one figure shows the threads per inch and this for the thread pitch which is uh, which is represented in mm and this is represented for one inch how many threads are there and this is shown by the example here you can see for n equal to 80 p equal to 1 by 80 which is equal to 0 0.0125000 inch those four zeros is added just for that a standard representation of the screw threads those eight digits after decimal point and for example one more example is for n equal to 72 p equal to 1 by 72 we chose that value <coughs> and this value have been given in table 5 of ASMB 1.1 and the part of which have been shown in this video for a reference purpose only for let us now enter into the actual requirement Earlier, whatever we saw is uh, just a general idea about the screw threads and its fundamentals. And this is the period. This is the period now we are going to enter into the actual requirement that is board root area calculation for inch series only. As I told earlier, the board root area for inch series is different from metric series. Both are different. In this present video, we are going to see only about inch series. Okay, so from basic profile, we can see the root diameter dr equal to d minus 2 times of 5h by 8. By substituting h equal to root 3 by 2 into p, we will get a value of dr equal to d minus 1.0825 into p, which is the value shown in ASMAB 1.1 section 10.1 r. The snapshot, for, the snapshot of it is shown for reference as you can see here. Now comes the real puzzle. As you can see, this dr value is not used in the root area calculation. Instead, they use dr equal to d minus 1.3 into p. How they derive this? <coughs> after searching from after searching and referring from a lot of references, it is, I found two reasons how it was derived. The first reason is Considering the difference between D and DR as 2 times of 5 h by 8, they included the extra projection of h by 8 that is sharp V thread height for conservative approach. Hence DR equal to D minus 2 times of 5 h by 8 plus h by 8 where you get D minus 2 times of 3 h by 4 as shown here. After solving for h, you will get DR equal to D minus 1.290031 into P which is approximately equal to d minus 1.3 into p this is the value you will find in this is the value you find in many references and handbook and one more reason after searching for it i found as the height of the external addendum above pitch line is not equal to below pitch line for a conservative approach twice the height of external addendum is used to calculate the root diameter which is nothing but two times of has and then dr equal to d minus 2 times of 3h by 4 which matches equation 2 and finally the board root area ar equal to pi by 4 into d minus 1.3 divided by n the whole square or d minus 1.3 into p the whole square as since number of threads per inch and pitch are reciprocal and let us see one example just to cross check with the asmeb 1.1 standard and let us take the UNC series 1 inch bowl diameter where threads per inch is 8. After substituting these values in the bowl root area, you will get the value of 0 0.551 inch square. 
and one more example we'll take just for a cross check since one example may match and the other may not match just for further confirmation we'll take one more example in the second example the UNC series 1 by 4 inch bowl diameter with 20 threads per inch have been used and the bowl root area for that case is 0 0.0269 inch square and, and let us arrive the bowl root area for the method 2 which is nothing but using HP okay AR equal to pi by 4 into D minus 2 times of HP the whole square HP which is nothing but 2 times of screw addendum height external external addendum height okay formula the area calculated based on this formula is shown in the table 6 of ASMB 1.1 Okay, let us cross check with the example. As like example three, UNC series same. Whatever the exam, whatever the parameters used in example one and two, the same have been used in this case of bolt root area. But one exception is that additional detail of EHP is required, which can directly arrive from table five, column thirteen of ASMB one point one. And one more thing is that. The number of threads per inch is not used in this formula. Instead of that, the HP as a screw addendum height is being used. Uh, same, whatever, when we substitute the value of HP and the diameter, bowl diameter, you arrive the same value of 0 0.551. And uh, one more example, you get the value of 0 0.0269 square. This area, whatever we arrived using the formula, can be cross verified with the ASMB 1.1 table 6. And these, these values have been underlined. I shown that and the example 2 and 4 where the bowl diameter is 1 by 4. The major diameter is this value and the threads per range is 20. And this is the value what I, try, what I was trying to say that is the area have been given directly using the method, method 2 formula. And you will get 0 0.026 time. And for the example case 1 and 3. This is a bolt diameter, this is a number of threads per inch, and this is a value of bolt root area 0.551. So, hence it has been cross verified with the ASMB 1.1 standard. So, whatever the formula we arrived it is the same value they are given in the B1.1. But one thing is that in this in this B1.1 standard, there is no formula provided for the bolt root area, they provided only for the tensile stress area and based on the interest and encouragement from the viewers I can prepare the videos related to tensile stress area calculation and bold root area calculation for metric thread series. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and also you can share with your friends. Thank you.